Fatality. Welcome back, everybody, to a little MKX Mobile. You know what? How about we just give it up? How about we just give a round of applause for the 1.16 characters? That's right, you guys. That whole intro was all about the 1.16 characters. But you guys, they are on their way out, which means who's next? Who is going to be included in the 1.17 update for MKX Mobile, you guys? I love these videos. I freaking love these videos. They're so much fun. It gives me a chance to imagine what the world of MKX Mobile would look like if I was in charge of picking the next characters. So everyone, we're going to break this video down the same way I did the last one. That's right. We're going to start off by talking about new characters that I think are going to be coming. Then we're going to get into combat packs, game mechanics, and finally a wish list, you guys. That's just crazy ideas, things I would love to see in the world of MKX Mobile. And also, you guys, I have to say this. I have to stress, this is just a predictions video, okay? This is not 100% accurate. I don't have any inside information. So before you start freaking out about who you see in the upcoming video, just know that this is just a predictions video. Also, if I happen to mention a character that might already be in the game, and you're getting ready to type like, this character's already in the game, stupid. You know what? It's possible that you might be from the future, okay? So, people from the future, I have to stress this too. Before you make a comment that a character already exists, please check the upload date, okay? I get so many comments about this character already exists. You guys, this could possibly be a two-year-old video by the time you see it. I'm just saying, okay? So check the upload date before you comment future people. Anyways, let's get started with the first part of this video, guys. New characters. Who do I think is going to be coming to the world of MKX Mobile? And there are so many characters to choose from. The roster is insane. The amount of characters that could be in this game is just insane. So I had to start by talking about the diamond tier characters, you guys. That's right. And my first prediction for a new diamond tier character, you guys, is Injustice 2 Sub-Zero. That's right, you guys. I made this prediction in the last video I did, but they totally blew me away by giving us Injustice 2 Raiden. But I still think that Injustice 2 Sub-Zero is coming. I know a lot of people want a new Sub-Zero, possibly a Diamond Sub-Zero, and I just see them doing that to keep interest in the Injustice console game, as well as the mobile game, as well as keeping interest in MKX Mobile. So I really think he's coming. So get ready for him. I know he's coming. Next up, you guys, the wind got himself. That's right, Fujin. I really think we're gonna start to see Fujin because we've been hearing a lot about him lately, especially in quest mode. And I think they're prepping us. I think they are prepping us for the release of this new Elder God. And I really think he's probably gonna be dual class. I think he's gonna be Earth Realm and um, Elder God as well. And personally, I would love to see him in this game. It's been a long time since he's been a playable character in any Mortal Kombat game. So I really think he's coming to you guys. And finally, finally, my last prediction for a diamond tier character is my favorite character of all time. That's right, Noob Sabot. I read so many comments of people who want to see Noob Sabot in MKX Mobile and me being one of them. I love this character and I think the producers and the developers know this. They know the power of this character, so I think they're probably going to drop him and obviously he will be a diamond character. They're just not going to give this character away, you know what I mean? So that's it. So those are my predictions for new diamond characters coming out in this next update. Um, let me know your thoughts on that, but now we're going to get into the gold characters. Who I see coming out as gold characters in this next update. And this one's a little different because we know from the watchtower that they gave us about a month or two ago that we know we're getting two characters for sure. That is Shang Tsung and Leatherface. So we know those two characters are dropping. I think they're probably gonna be in this next update and I believe they're gonna be gold as well. I cannot wait to see how Shang Tsung uh, plays in this game. If they have the same uh, creator, the same guy that was working on Cosplay Jackie, working on Shang Tsung, I know he's gonna be killer. I just know he's gonna be so fun to play. Um, and also, Leatherface, come on. I'm so hyped that he is finally in this game too. So um, I'm gonna kinda separate those two characters because we know they're on the way. And then I also included some other gold characters that I really think are probably gonna be making their way into this game. Starting with Sindel, everybody. I think it's been way too long that we haven't seen Sindel in this game. So I really think that she's probably gonna be coming out here pretty soon, possibly in this next update. Also, I really see them continuing with the Cold War theme and that would be adding Revolution Kano, you guys. We already have the other three Cold War characters. I can see them adding this Revolution Kano to complete that Cold War set. And then finally, Classic Reptile, you guys. We have all these different classic skins. You know, there's a lot of different classic characters to pick from, but I think Classic Reptile might be among one of the most wanted ones. Um, so I see him coming out here in this next update as well, okay? Next up, we're gonna talk about combat packs, you guys. Netherrealm loves to sell us combat packs. It's a big money maker for him, and plus we get some really cool characters with it too. But unfortunately, we know now through the Watchtower we're not gonna get Alien, and we're not gonna get Predator. So that pretty much shot down my hopes and dreams of getting a movie madness pack, you guys. Oh, I was so bummed, I was so bummed. But anyways, guys, let's talk about a different pack. Let's talk about this old ass another realm pack that has never dropped in price and has always been around i think it is time to get rid of that thing let's get something else like a revenant pack you guys let's see some of these characters from the story mode revenant cable revenant smoke night wolf and i know just by reading people's comments that these three characters are very 
much wanted. They are very highly demanded um, by people playing this game. So I could see him probably adding that. Also, I think there's a possibility, just because of the fact that they added Drummond's Mask and Moloch's Ball and Chain, we could start seeing some of those characters that go with that equipment. So there could be something like a Torment Pack or something similar to that where you use the actual equipment that goes with the characters on the characters themselves. I don't know, something like that. But I'm getting tired of staring at this Netherrealm pack that I'm never gonna buy. They just need to clean it up. They need to refresh that whole system Put those characters in the Faction Wars store so we can buy them through that or in the store itself um, and just clean that up and get something new in there. Okay, and that wraps up my predictions for the combat packs. That means we're going to move into game mechanics, you guys. This is basically my category where I fit in um, a whole bunch of different parts of the game. So you got like your different battle modes, your different stages, um, how the game works itself, things like that. So first thing we're going to start off talking about is Relic Hunt, you guys. Relic Hunt is going to stay. It's not always gonna be Shao Kahn, it's gonna be different characters. And I think we're probably gonna see some of these other characters that we don't normally get to see. So like Spec Ops Scorpion, uh, Relentless Jason, Slasher Jason. I can see them adding, uh, after Shao Kahn is done, I can see them adding some of these other characters into Relic Hunt. So I am expecting that in the future. Um, possibly, not, probably not this update, but coming soon after everybody gets a chance to max out Shao Kahn. Um, I expect to see a new Relic Hunt character coming to that. Next up, guys, quest mode, or should I say, Tower 27 mode, if you know what I mean. <laughs> ah, quest mode. I really don't think they're gonna do too much with this other than possibly cleaning up, doing a couple patches here and there. Um, but I think it's pretty much gonna stay the same for now. It's too early in the game to see a big change in that. Um, next up, you guys, stages. I really think we're gonna get a new stage. There are a lot of stages, a lot of backgrounds that we don't have yet, but I think we're gonna get one. And I think we're gonna get one for a very specific reason. Um, I think we're gonna get um, the pit stage or possibly the sky temple because of injustice to Raiden's super move that they um, told us we we're gonna get but we never got I think the big problem was he always teleports to the stage um, Where he does this super move, but we don't have that stage So I think they're gonna include that stage um, so they can build it in code. It's in the game It's gonna be easier for them to recreate that injustice to Raiden super move That's my prediction for that and you guys we're getting close to the end and I hear a lot about People wanting to see fatalities, you guys. My prediction is we're not gonna get fatalities. We already have those um, quick time event fatalities if you play through the towers. You already get those. I don't think they're gonna keep up with those. I think that's all you're gonna get. But what I do think we're gonna get more of are these like brutalities that Shao Kahn can do. I think that's probably a new thing we're gonna see. So I'm not expecting fatalities, but I am expecting brutalities, okay? And you guys, finally, we're at the last part of the video. Oh my God, we made it. We freaking made it. Now I go get to do my wish list. These are some crazy things that I would love to see in this game. Starting off with Spawn, you guys, come on. Huge Todd, Todd McFarland fan, would love to see a Spawn. Also, I would love to see a Kratos, you guys. God of War, I would love to see the God of War in this game. I would even take the new God of War if they were willing to do that. And last but not least, you guys, I would love to see some stage interactables. I might be asking for too much here, but I would love to see the ability to do some stage interactables. And if you remember the last tower, when you fight Katana, you had to tap on the orbs to cleanse yourself. That was getting there. They were close, but they really haven't pursued it since then. So um, that's it, you guys. Holy crap. I can't believe we made it to the end of the video. I want to know who you think is coming to MKX Mobile, okay? Not only that, I would like to know who you would like to see come to the world of MKX Mobile, okay? So right now, go down below and leave a comment on who you would like to see in the next update for MKX Mobile, okay? And then I'm gonna make a video on that. Not only that, you guys, I need you to think up some questions that you wanna ask Netherrealm. Any important questions that you wanna ask Netherrealm because we're also making a video to present to Netherrealm on just important questions that the community has about this game, okay? So that's it, you guys. I gotta say, everybody, I seriously thank you all for listening to me talk for the last nine and a half minutes. I really do appreciate you guys watching and subscribing. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you guys liked what you just saw, make sure you hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button. Or maybe this looks good. Oh my god, you guys, what is this? Oh shit. Or maybe you guys like this. We're getting there, we're getting there. Oh, that's my guy. <laughs> or possibly some of this. Alright, send one a little ride here. Or maybe something like this. I guess I could. I don't know. Maybe. Ah! Well, well, well. Look who's back. Guess what, everybody? I'm ready to smash some bugs. I smash your bugs, bitches. I smash your bugs, bitches. Come this way, I turn away, I turn back around. Come back and smash your bugs, bitches. Smash. 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 Now here comes the breakdown. I'm a badass chick with a big ass dick and I'm dipping on the special like a chicken.
chicken make nugget, chicken make nugget, chicken make nugget. I'll be petty because all boys said love it, love it, love it, love it. You know you can't touch it because I'm here for my steak. We'll put you up against the wall and it's time for the x ray smashing the ball. Oh my god, that song was so bad. Either way, hit that like button. Blah, blah, blah.